Hello! Long time no see, indeed. It has been almost a year since I made my last video, and a lot has happened since then. That's safe to say, I think. Um, and one of the things is that I've started using quite a few of the ordinary products in my skincare routine, um, and since I've been using them for a while now, I thought I would give a little review, give you my humble opinion on them, because there's a lot of people that talk about them, and I feel like there's like quite a few different opinions, and people have different experiences with it. So here's my experience with it. Um, my skin is like combination. It's quite dry and flaky, especially in winter, but it still gets oily throughout the day. It's, it's a mess. <laughs> but yeah, these products have really helped, and um, let's just get into it. So the first product I want to talk about is their Argan Oil. It doesn't say much on the website other than it's supposed to support healthy skin and reduce the appearance of flaking. And if you use it for your hair, it adds a soft sheen and strength to it. But I've only been using it for my skin um, and I've used it like primarily in my eye area and like on my nose where my skin is the most dry and flaky. And I will say it has helped with my dry skin. Um, yeah, it's just, it's nice for some extra moisture in the eye area where I feel like I get, like, my skin gets a bit dry throughout the day. And I've used it on my nose just to give it an oil so it wouldn't produce oil itself on my skin, <laughs> if that makes sense. There's not much more to say about it. It's nice, but it's not, like, very revolutionary, I know. Um, but I got that in December of 2019, so I've been using it for over a year. I've gone through almost two bottles, so lasts quite a long time. Um, but the second product I got was their Squalane, Squalane Cleanser, this. <laughs> um, and this is the same that I bought in December 2019. It's the super size one, so it's lasted for quite a while, um, but I don't use it every day anymore, just because I don't want to run out of product, because it's always out of stock. But anyway, on the website, it says that it's supposed to remove makeup while leaving the skin feeling smooth and moisturized. Um, and it's supposed to be efficient in dissolving makeup and facial impurities. I'm not quite sure what that is, but it sounds good. <laughs> so in my experience, you have to be a little bit patient with warming the product up. They say that you should warm it in your palms of your hands for like 10 to 30, 30 seconds. Um, I've never timed it, I just know that it takes a while and I don't do it in like my hands because I feel like that takes longer and you waste some product by doing that so I just apply it directly to my face and like warm it up there. But yeah, it's a good makeup remover, however I only use it after using micellar water first because even though it does do a good job of dissolving the makeup, I don't feel like it can do it on its own if you don't remove some of it with micellar water first, but it's good to like get the last makeup up off your face. Also, I've never used it on its own as a cleanser. I always use another cleanser before. No, after. <laughs> I always use another cleanser after, um, just because I feel like it does get deeper into the pores than micellar water, but I don't feel like it cleans the skin as much as other cleansers do, so there's that. But all in all, I would recommend it's a nice extra step for your skincare. So you really remove the makeup and like prepare your skin for like a proper cleansing. The next product in line is the infamous, I almost want to say, uh, niacinamide. What can you call it? I guess it's a serum, right? But anyway, let's see what they say on their website it's supposed to do. They say it reduces the appearance of skin blemishes and congestion and it balances visible aspects of sebum activity. But anyway, in my experience, it does reduce sebum and it does minimize my pores. I have quite large, I have quite, I have quite large pores on my nose and like here. Um, and I will say it does help with that. However, for me, a downside is that you have to be really patient because when you put it on your skin, you can't really put anything on top of it for like 10 minutes. In my experience because otherwise it will start to pill like you know when if you rub your fingers on your face and it's like bits and pieces just coming off this also happens if you use too much of it so a little bit goes a long way I would say and yeah I'm just quite an impatient person so I just opt for other things now but I do really like it and if you have the patience 
to do this every day. Wait for 10 minutes before going on to the next step, I would recommend it. And just a little side note, if you have any cuts on your face or you've just popped a pimple, it will sting like hell, it really hurts. But they also like warn about that on the website, so you're not supposed to do that in the first place. Now we're moving into the acid category. And the first one I want to talk about is dermandelic acid. On the website it says it's supposed to offer superficial dermal peeling that is gentler than other AHAs. And it's very gentle and suitable for all skin types. However, they do have some warnings. Um, they say that you should not be using this on sensitive, peeling or compromised skin. And that you should use additional sun protection when you're using this product. But you know, you should always use sunscreen. So that's not really a downside to me. Um, and my skin is sensitive and I've sometimes used it on like peeling and broken skin. And they say you should do that, but I haven't experienced any bad consequences from that, so I've just kept on going. <laughs> because unlike the niacinamide, it doesn't sting on my skin if I have any cuts or I've just popped a pimple and I get this into it, it doesn't hurt. And I would recommend, or like at least I've used this as like introducing my sensitive skin to acids. Like, no, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, because I was worried if I put like a stronger acid on my skin, my skin would just not like it and be inflamed or such. But that hasn't happened, so that's good. Um, it is a mild chemical exfoliant. It doesn't like get too deep into the pores, I think, but it does like get rid of some of the dry and flaky skin that like lays on top of the skin. That didn't make sense. Like the outer layer that's like dry and ready to like take off, if that makes sense. But yeah, all in all, I think it's a good product. I think it reduces the size of the pores, but I've never used it on its own. I've always used it with either the niacinamide or their lactic acid. And that is the next product I want to talk about, their lactic acid 10%. And the Ordinary website says that it's supposed to offer mild exfoliation and there are some Tasmanian pepperberry in it that should reduce the signs of inflammation and sensitivity that is associated with exfoliation. And then it has the same precautions as the metallic acid, like for sun protection and to not use it on compromised skin. So. But yeah, in my experience, it does exfoliate more than the mandelic acid. There's something about the molecules being smaller in the lactic acid. I'm not really sure about all that, but I have noticed a difference. And I would really recommend this if you have dry and flaky skin, because it will get rid of those flakes and keep your skin... I guess the hyaluronic acid in it does moisturize a little bit, um, but it's more so just getting rid of all the dry skin that's just sitting on top of your... <laughs> fresh skin already. I don't know. Oh my god. But yeah, I do really like it. Um, it does, however, it smells a bit weird, but it's not a strong scent and it's not perfume, obviously. That's just the way the product smells. You will have to wait for like maybe five minutes, I think, before putting anything else on top of it, but I, that's not too bad, I think. It's half the time of the niacinamide, which is why I just opt more for the lactic acid, because um, it doesn't do exactly the same thing, of course, but it also does reduce the size of the pores, I think, which is nice. I like that. My pores are huge, so you can't see that on camera because the light kind of washes it out and like blurs my skin a little bit. The last product I want to talk about is their hyaluronic acid, which they say it's naturally found in the skin, hyaluronic acid, but its natural function is not to hydrate. And some hyaluronic acids can apparently sit on the surface of the skin and just like draw moisture out from underneath while making you feel like you need more HA after the product is rinsed. But they say that their hyaluronic acid has a multi-depth hydration and visible plumbing without drawing water out of the skin. So it's supposed to moisturize, is what I get from that little sentence. <laughs> I mix it in with my moisturizer, um, just because I've tried putting it directly on the skin, and that just resulted in some pilling for me just like with the niacinamide, but I'm not sure if it's because I put it on top of the niacinamide and those just didn't mix well. But I really like just mixing it in with my moisturizer. I usually use like two drops and that's enough. Um, I feel like it does add some extra moisture to the moisturizer. <laughs> that was a weird sentence. But yeah, that was it for my The Ordinary review. I quite like the brand. It's affordable and it is cruelty-free. 
Also, most of their products are vegan. All of these products are vegan. So that's just a nice little extra added touch. <laughs> Can you say that? I don't know. But anyway, as a little side note here, or as technically an end note, I guess, I just wanted to say, first of all, thank you to all my new subscribers. Hello. It's nice to have you here. Hello to all my old subscribers as well. I look forward to getting back into YouTube. I have a lot of videos, not scripted, I don't do that, but like written out. It was nice to be back. It was. It is nice to be back. Um, and that's it for this video. I still do not know how to end this. So that's it. I said that a thousand times. Bye.